Hi, this is your buddy Mark from the Suburban Hippie Photographer. I just want to do a quick video today. Um, looks like DJI is coming out with yet another drone. It's, I think it's going to be called the DJI Spark. And uh, it's better than anything else out there. Now, Unic had the Breeze, um, which is a little drone that you could hold in your hand. However, the video wasn't stabilized. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to have a video drone, it has to have stabilized video. So that was the one flaw in the Unique Breeze. However, it looks like DJI is coming out with a drone that does have either a 2-axis or a 3-axis gimbal up front. Also has a vision, in, vision positioning system. The drone looks like it's only 6 inches long, so it, it packs a lot of powerful innovations into a small area. So it's going to blow the competition away. And it is interesting with um, DJI because at the rate that they're coming out with innovations, it blows everyone way out of the water. It's known with American companies, like car companies and stuff, that they, they release innovations over a certain time frame so they can maximize their input, or their income, excuse me. So, um, for example, let's say they could bring out a lot of innovations now. What they would do is they would stretch that over 10 years um, so they could maximize their money over 10 years. It's, it's almost like an agreement they all have with each other. So one company didn't blow the rest out of the water, but it, that's bad for the consumer. So it's actually really good for, for us, for the consumer, that DJI just keeps bringing up these innovations because it's really going to accelerate um, drones. Now there's another thing coming from, or that was proposed by DJI, which I think is going to come. And it's like an electronic license plate for each drone, and it's going to be registered to each user. Now that sounds scary at first, but I think it's actually a great idea. And the reason why, it's going to, when you get a drone, you'll have to register it, uh, and it'll have a unique serial number. And the neat thing about that is everyone will have to do it. And, and that way, if somebody does something nefarious, they can be caught. And what that, I think, should allow the FAA to do is kind of lighten restrictions a little bit and not have these draconian restrictions on everybody if they can prosecute the people that are actually breaking the law and flying things around airports and stuff. And that will, I think, save the drone industry. So I think that's a good idea. So uh, take a look and I'll show you what the DJI Spark looks like. So thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the drone. It looks like it's about six inches long by about, it's hard to see, one, two, three, four, five, six inches wide. So it's almost a perfect square. So this is uh, six inches long, it's not foldable, it has a gimbal, I'm not sure if it's two or three axis, but either one is great. Yes, it has somewhat quick charge connectors in the bottom, I don't care about that. It has VPS and sonar sensors, so it has vision positioning and obstacle avoidance. Um, it looks like a great little unit, I can't wait for it to come out. DJI is really innovating here. Here's the uh, story about the white paper they present. DJI's remote identification proposal license plate of drones, question mark. So as I said, I think this is a good idea and uh, we'll wait to see what happens.